Hello everyone. I am Mr. S. Devendra Prabhu, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchangoda. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about the liquidation. So, liquidation or winding up is the legal term that refers to the producer through the which of the affairs of the company or wind up by the law. So, liquidation means is called then one kind of uh, activity to disclose or discharge the business. Okay, the business is running unsuccessfully. Uh, lack of many reasons, the share, uh, shareholder to decided to wind up the business. So that is the process is called the liquidation. The next one is section 425 subsection 1 of the Companies Act provides that a company can be liquidated if any of the following three ways. That first one is compulsory winding up by the court. The second one is voluntary winding up by the members. The third one is winding up under the supervision of the court. So these are the important ways of the uh, liquidation process. The next one is the format of statement of affairs. So what are the formats are uh, formats of available for the liquidations? And first one is assets is not specified as budget. This is for list A. Then the next column is estimated the realizable value in amount. So that is the format. The first one is the bank at the balance at the bank. Then second one is cash in hand. Then debtors. Then leasehold property, the plant and machinery, investment, other assets. So these are the important formats of the liquidation process. The next one is the asset specified subledge. This is B. Then next column is estimated realizable value in rupees. You to secured creditors. If suppose I am the company had to pay the money for secured creditors, that is the next column. Then next one is the deficiency ranking as uh, unsecured rupees. We have suppose the uh, for example uh, five crore I have to secure give the secured creditor, but uh, I don't have enough money, sir. Only for three crore. So remaining balance the two crore not able to pay. So that, that is called the deficiency ranking. The next one is the surplus uh, carried to the last column. So this is the surplus amount. This is for freehold property. The next one is the estimated surplus from the asset under specific books. The estimated total asset available for the potential creditors, the debenture holders and the unsecured creditors. The next one is the summary of cross assets. What are the total assets are available at the time of liquidations? That is called the cross assets and the estimated value of the assets specifically budget and other assets. So these are the important things. Uh, the, the next one is the liabilities. This is the previous thing we have discussed for assets. The same thing we are assessed the liability also. The first one is secured creditor list B. The next one is the secured. Then preferential creditor list C. Then estimated balance of asset available for the debenture holders. A debenture holder secured by the floating charges. That is list D. Uh, estimated surplus deficiency at the so regarded debenture holders. The next one is unsecured creditor list E. So these are the list are available for the as per liquidation process. As a liquidator have to be followed the proper format at the time of liquidation. This is more important thing. So the next one is uh, so this is we are uh, enough we have to uh, wind up the session. So thank you for watching video. Thank you.